and not a good flight news. The part fart in that one too. Submitted by Seymour Boutiz. <laughs> Seymour Booties? Seymour Boutiz, yeah. Boutiz. A uh, regular flight to Miami turned into a nightmare after an airdrop photo caused chaos. Oh shit! Airdrop Is photo? it a picture of a I bomb? I love doing that shit. Is it like a dick pic? Sending pictures of it. bombs to airdrop? Remember when we were on, we were on, uh, we were in Europe and then like you would open up your phone because you're gonna airdrop something to me and then you see everyone else's little yeah. icons and then you would send them funny pictures of like a monkey with lipstick on? Yeah. I didn't even know you could do this. It's amazing. Yeah. I need to know about this. Do you have an iPhone? No. It's one. You don't have an iPhone? No, he no I have an iPhone, but I don't. That's one of the joys of it, because people always have their airdrop on. You can send them funny you pictures. You see, like, everything. They have to accept. And they don't know what's coming from. But they, have to, but they see it. But they see it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, I like that. They see it already. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. They see a thumbnail. And you see people go up and, like, <laughs> or, like, yeah. They're like, who the fuck sent me this? Yeah. I love it. Do you change your name on your phone? I always send it to people that. I know. Oh. Because that was my picture. Oh, true. If they see your dick, you have power over them. Yes. I yeah. believe that. They saw it. Now yes. they can't unsee what they saw. That's right. And now I have power over you. How? How does that work? How? <laughs> so what do you mean? How does that work? You just occupy like three of their brain cells. Yeah. No, they're thinking about your dick. Even if it's in a bad way, they're thinking yep. about your dick still. They saw and you, it. And you own part of their brain. Yep. Yeah. But then, you're, but then aren't you thinking about them? So then they own you too. No, absolutely not. I'm not thinking about them at all. I'm thinking about how I control their brain. So you're thinking about them. <laughs> yeah, you no. are at that point. I'm not. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there was this, there was this flight from Oakland to Maui that was delayed about 90 minutes. It's like the worst flight ever. Why? Why? They're going Oakland to Maui. To or to Maui. 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 I was like, damn, 90 minutes. That's. Oh yeah, the <laughs> title did. No, yeah, it said Maui. Did you say Miami? You did I, say Miami. I, oh. I, yeah, I thought you said Miami. No, you're supposed Maui. to. You read it. <laughs> yeah. No, Oakland to Maui. Yeah. Because he said Miami. He said Miami, Miami. earlier. I he did to... say Miami. I didn't even catch that. Yeah, he true. did say Miami. Oh yeah. You said Miami. I heard Maui. <laughs> anyway, it was first Oakland to Maui, and uh, it was delayed about 90 minutes. Maui, my second home. Yeah, and it, it was all because of this girl. She was trying to airdrop a photo to her mom, but her mom just got a brand new phone, so it wasn't, like it didn't have a name or anything. So she kept sending it to other people's phones. And On this accident. photo, well she was trying to send it to her mom. This photo, which I'm like, dude, you have her number, why don't you just text it to her? Anyway, the photo was it a- It compresses the file. It compresses the file. I don't tip. think she needs high quality for oh. this specific photo because it's a photo of a dead child oh, face down shit. in a crime scene. Why would she send her that? To scare her mom or something? So this photo, which I'll show you right now. Dude, of all the things. What oh the God. fuck? It's fake. Just so you guys are okay. Oh, right it's on. It's a fake photo. Hey, that's now it's that funny. Makes it, now it's funny. <laughs> that makes it undisturbing. This doesn't happen. <laughs> all right. The fuck? I mean, it is a little less than I feel way better. I honestly feel better. If it's a real, real child, like it's still twisted, but it's not as fucked up. It's yeah, still twisted. So she was trying to send her that image because it's from her high school medical biology class. So it was like part of her class, and she was trying to share that with her mom. But she ended up sending to sending it to other people. And the daughter. She sent it to at least fifteen other passengers. What an like, idiot! That's how many times you have to try. Like what? <laughs> iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. Yeah, like what? What the an hell? idiot! So because of that reason, a lot of passengers were distressed, and so they notified the flight crew, and that's when they had to remove the mom and the daughter from the flight and figure out like, is this a real photo? Or, like what is like what is the situation? Here? Stupid idiot girl. Damn. I know, so stupid. I think she's lying. I think she's trying to scare her mom. I, I don't think so it has too. anything to do with their biology class. Probably, because I'd probably do that shit too. Yeah, that sounds like a that, that sounds like she was trying to prank her mom. Because if she really wanted to share something, you don't have to send it 15 times. You just walk to her mom's seat. And it's fake, so she was trying to. It, it's not like the caption was like, "This was a crazy part of our class with a fake dummy." Like she just sent. He was, she was sending it to get the shock from her mom. Yeah. yeah. And then she'd be like, "Hey, it's fake." That's why it's airdrop because it'll pop up on her yeah. phone. Instead of, yeah. Like 15 times? Like you knew you were sending this to other people at that point. She was probably- yeah, she's trying to get her mom good. 
I think she's trying to do it on purpose. You think yeah. she was just trying to scare all the she's other? Doing one of those tricks. Yeah. She was trying to scare everybody on the yeah, airplane. She was trying to do it. Yeah. Punk ass bitch. I would deny too that you have to deny if they divert the flight over it and yeah. you're like gonna go maybe get federal charges or some bullshit. That's true. I play innocent like a motherfucker. Hell yeah, I'm playing stupid. I didn't do it. Yeah. I was just trying. And then if I was a mom too, I'd be like, oh yeah, my daughter didn't know. Fuck you, bitch. When I get home, I would be so mad. Yep. But I, on the airplane, I'll be like, oh no, that's a science project. Yeah. You're down. Hell yeah. I'd yeah. rat on my fucking kids so fast. You wouldn't really rat. <laughs> you would really rat, would you really? pay for all that shit. Oh, good call, yeah. See, <laughs> you don't know how to think mind, like a mind, good citizen. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think like Gemma from uh, oh, Sons right. of Anarchy. I wouldn't even tell a cop what gas mom. prices is. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I don't know. You fucking read the sign, pal. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm not telling shit. What do you see? You tell me what you see. Yeah, I'll what do you, tell you if that's what I see. But I'm still gonna discipline the fuck out of her. Yeah, for sure. No fun. Like you can that. only communicate with the styrofoam cup and the fucking wire if you wanna talk. Yeah, but that's fun. That's, that's really fun. nice. No, no, no. Every time you talk to someone, smiling. you have to talk and do this. That's exciting. Like, you, you, everybody. <laughs> like, they could, they, it's gonna be. Did you ever do fun? it? Can I ask you to do Yeah, you? it's fun. It's fun, too. But then you have to do that for the rest of your, like, Year, a whole year. You have to communicate that way. You have to have fun for a year. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that. The fun right. goes away. I guarantee you. I could make the fun things torturous. And then actually write letters to text. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, hey, guess what? No more Xbox. Just regular Nintendo and Super Nintendo. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Only tic tac toe. <laughs> Only tic tac toe. That's it. All right. Yeah. So this girl, she's 15 years old. In case you guys were wondering her age. So they were taken out of the flight. They were rebooked on another flight. She was questioned by the police, but then they determined that there was no crime. She was crying. <laughs> so all that shit happened to those passengers, right? So then finally, they finally, like their plane finally took off after 90 minutes. Of oh, so that shit happened before the flight? Yeah, before. Oh. Whoa. I'd be so pissed. Yeah. I'm on my way to Hawaii. Well, that's true, because people had to be on Wi-Fi. Because I was thinking like, it was just everybody on the plane doing Wi-Fi. Mm, that could happen too. I, I discovered that, that you don't need to have service to do your job. I'm like, oh. This is Bluetooth. Yeah. It's through Bluetooth. Did everybody get to Maui okay? So then, when they were on their way to Maui, uh, someone illegally brought a pepper spray can into the flight and it accidentally leaked. And oh so the shit. <laughs> You're telling me TSA didn't, oh, TSA fucked didn't up, do yeah. their job? Yes, we are. What a shocker. Same fucking flight. Same flight, like the same oh. group. No offense to TSA people watching this, but dude, the, those fucking body scanners and shit, they don't do anything. Of course well, it's from the bag. And if yeah. it's, re oh, you know what? If it's small, they could mistake it for like a travel size spray, spray uh, hairspray hair or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. How unlucky is this fucking flight? So, it's, so it spilled, and what happened? So then, like, our, and that happened like towards the front of the plane. So then, everyone in the front, they just kept coughing. Their eyes were all watery. Oh, like they couldn't fuck. breathe. So they were. Dude, about, first class. That's not what you pay for, man. I know, right? Dude, the people really in the fun. back are like. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? First class is fucked. Did yeah. They, uh, did they know it was pepper spray, or they just started coughing for no reason? They don't even know what's happening. Uh, well, some people were saying that they thought it was a terrorist attack. Like they were prepared to die. Oh yeah, I can you see guys, that. You guys, are you guys, you guys aren't even paying attention to the fact that this is the second thing that happened. No, on no, the I do know. I do know. No, I love it. I do but know. No one's reacting to that. That's no, fucking wild. I think it's crazy. Yeah. So then, I just this want everyone photo. to get to Maui. Okay, have a good time. <laughs> Fuck. So they're saying that there were about 40 people gathered at the back of the plane trying to breathe. Doesn't that fuck up the plane? Fuck. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> no. No? <laughs> no? Maybe. Who knows? Really? That's a good so I thought I saw a fucking movie where they were like, they had to like balance certain things. I mean, yeah, in the Aaliyah movie, maybe, because they fucking overloaded the plane, bud. Aww. It's not gonna be like this. I know. Well, I know, I'm Too saying that's what happened, though. They overloaded the Too shit out of that plane. Too soon. Aaliyah, no, you weren't too soon. Aaliyah should have packed way too much luggage, dude. That's what happens. This is why I tell Nikki every time we fly. I'm like, you want to be like Aaliyah? Then you go you ahead bring and bring eight time? Yeah, you go ahead and bring Nikki. eight suitcases to the UK. <laughs> if you want to be like Aaliyah. On the brighter side, at least they land on Maui, because it would suck if like you had to go through all this bullshit and then you land on like the shittiest. Place or like on Kentucky. Earth. True. Dude, how many dumb people? <laughs> I wonder how many dumb people were like, "Yo, pilot, can we open a window?" 
Because <laughs> this shit's crazy, man. <laughs> no, yeah, the pilot was the one that told everyone to go to the back. And then so after they landed, there were 12 passengers and three fi flight attendants that were treated for respiratory issues. What uh, airline is this? Uh, um, uh, Spirit. Hawaiian. Hawaiian Airline? That sucks. I love Hawaiian I Airlines. Love Hawaiian. You know they're the only domestic flight that offers like free food as a part of the service? Oh. So yeah, it's pretty... They get breakfast sandwiches. You're getting your brand deal with this or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? The? I hope so. I just can't. I, I mean, I mean well done. The service is good and everything's. Is, I don't know. I just, I just feel like so, so, so. Put it this way: if there wasn't the delay, and then like you know, maybe, maybe some forces were stopping that plane from fucking hitting a hurricane or some shit, or like some kind of. You know, maybe it could have crashed or something else, but thank thank goodness that 90 minute delay happened because they survived. Yeah, I wonder what the, pe <laughs> the people who say everything happens for a reason. Yeah. What about like a pepper spray can, uh, a pepper spray can blowing up, like yeah. in the, in the front row of the plane, and like 25 passengers all have to go to the in the back and breathe in and out, standing up for four hours. Like, like what Joe just said. I just said, that, like, maybe that did that's something. So you think it's a butterfly effect? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah well, like, that's just how I live life because if I don't think that way, then I'll just be pissed at everything mm, all the time. True, true. So I have to oh. think like, oh, I dodged a bullet. Yeah. Or else I can't let it go because I think I'll just be bitter for the rest of the day. Like, this fucking bitch had fucking pepper spray leaking out. Now I should pepper spray them. But how can you be bitter when you're on Hawaiian Airlines, isn't that's that right? That's right. <laughs> if I was on Spirit or Allegiance. Yeah. If I was and on Spirit. Right, Beach, Beach Boys said it was great, right? Yes, yeah, most comfortable. Did you fly? Yeah. I can never go back. Ah, just it it's like floating on air, right? Yep. It's like floating on a bed. Yep. It's free wow. macadamia nuts everywhere. You yep. open drawers, it's just floating. And the service is so aloha. Yeah, and then the stewardesses, they have coconuts for breakfast. Do they really? Yep, yep, yep. You've never, you've, that's why you're so grumpy. You've never flown I, Hawaiian. I want that. <laughs> no, actually, I did um, I did Singapore Air, and the, the stewardesses, stewardesses were all hot as fuck, though. Mm, it was Hawaiian. pretty nuts. And I was doing it for, it was doing it for my honeymoon. You know what's dope too. about like Singapore and Korean Airlines and all the Asian airlines? Since they don't really have tenure, if you get ugly, they just fire you. <laughs> Oh, man. Really? Yeah, like in America, like Delta, American and shit too. Yeah. That's, that's like, why you get better service too, because yeah, they're yeah. so polite. Well, yeah, you get tenure, right? So like all of our uh, flight attendants are like 50 year old grumpy old ladies. <laughs> Tell me about they're, it. There's no such thing, as, and they're not really PC, so like you're too ugly, you're too fat, get out of here. That's like the golden age of Hooters. Yeah. Hooters was great. When Hooters was a majestic place, you could always go and find hot women. Now it's like, Busted ass, it's... You know millennials are not going... A lot of tenure, I'll say that, a lot of tenure. <laughs> a lot of Busted tenure. ass. They all look like Supreme Court justices in there. <laughs> oh shit.